Hey guys, this is Kristen from Boba Pop, and today I'm gonna be doing a video to explain more or less what you need to know the first two weeks that you're in Korea, especially if you are studying abroad. There will be things for people that are just traveling to Korea, but I'm also gonna explain stuff for people that are studying abroad. One of the first things that we kind of got a little bit surprised about when we got here is that when you go on an escalator, you have to stick to the right side if you're not going to walk up the escalator or walk down the escalator. So if you just want to stand, stick to the right side because if not, you're going to have a billion people either pushing you or looking at you bad and waiting for you to move. So make sure you keep that in mind. Your school offers, like, if uh, our school actually gave us bedding, but they don't have pillows, they don't have any of that. We literally looked for like a month for me to find a pillow. So definitely check what they're offering for you and check where it is because we ended up going to Sushi, which is a good school, but the problem is because it's very far from like main areas. So if we want to go to Hongdae or like the places where everyone wants to go, it's like 30 minutes away by subway. So you do have to go a little bit farther and then taxis are like not too much more expensive, but a little bit more expensive. So um also look for fun events to do. Like literally there's always something to do in Korea. Always something to do. There's a billion websites, um, like Trazy and and like a trip advisor, like different things that you can just go on tours, go on things. Don't waste your time while you're here. Definitely at least try to do something every weekend. Make sure that if you're picky, like you know what you're gonna eat. Cause like Things are very pre-made here, so if you ask, like, oh, hold something. Like, Subway is okay, but Subway is normally okay. But when you get to, like, a place like McDonald's and stuff, if you don't like pickles, for example, the machine is usually the one to take your order. So they don't, you don't really have the option to be, like, no pickles or no whatever. So if you do need to, or make sure you know how to ask to them to hold the pickles or whatever it is that you want. People smoke everywhere. And, I mean everywhere like we went to a PC bang and inside the PC bang there's a room for people to smoke so it's definitely something that kind of brought us to a little bit of a shock because um, I guess right now in like younger generations you don't really see smoking as much but here it is very prominent very powerful girls boys everyone especially our age are smoking like crazy and it's a little bit crazy uh, it's like annoying but at the same time uh, they do end up doing it in like the dark alleyways so just stick far from the dark alleys so fruits are incredibly expensive if you want to eat an avocado this is not the place to eat an avocado also, make sure to have cash on you at all times because if you end up going to Myeongdong and you want to have some street food, most of those people will not card. So you have to have at least some cash on you. The highest bill is a $50 bill. So um, as long as you have some cash on you, you should be fine. But like, like even $10 is okay. But just have some just in case. Also, know the basics in Korean before you get here because... There's a lot a lot of people that own stores, a lot of places that you might want to go to. Like if you go to Hongdae and like Myeongdong in the younger areas, you'll be fine. But if you go to like a traditional market or if you go to places that aren't so um, touristy, especially in our area of Seoul, um, it's actually really hard to find people that speak English. So you need to know at least the basics in Korean, know how to introduce yourself, know how to ask if you need something, how to go to the bathroom, things like that. Um, also, uh, restaurants are incredibly self-service, so it's still kind of shocking for us, but you go there, and they're not going to come and ask you for help. Like, you have, there's a button, usually, where you just press the button, and they come to you, and then they'll ask you, and then, like, that's where you're going to need to, like, sometimes you can just point, and they'll know what you mean, but sometimes you need to, like, talk to them to ask what it is. Um, also, the clothes isn't as small as I thought, like... The clothes usually, they said, oh my gosh, you're not going to find clothes in Korea because I'm like a U.S. size 10. So, like, that's not exactly a small. In the U.S., it's a large. And I was really worried. So I asked the lady at um, and Myeongdong Station and the underground shopping center. I really wanted to buy a shirt. And I was like, oh no, like, is this going to fit me? It looked huge, but it was one size. And she was, and I asked her and she was like, that's your size. And I was like, okay. And I tried it on. It was still huge on me. So... I still think that like the clothes here is incredibly big. Everyone wears huge clothes, like incredibly big. Then um, also uh, clothes isn't as, as expensive as you think as long as you don't go to like 
a really important department store but if you go to like markets and stuff they're pretty cheap they're like five dollars for a shirt things like that um also and this is the last thing that i have for you guys so far that i've experienced while i'm here makeup makeup is cheap you can get like a cushion i actually got a cushion from uh petty Pera, which is the same people that had those really nice lipsticks this one right here the airy ink cushion this one is really nice i'm wearing it right now but the problem is this is the darkest color they have and i'm pretty white so um things like blush and lipsticks they're not like they're good for like tints and watery things there's not a lot of long lasting stuff and lot like matte liquid lips not a thing over here so if you do if you are coming remember to bring some of your own makeup especially foundation if you're darker than my skin tone because you're not gonna find anything anywhere like it was hard enough for me to find it and it was the darkest color they have three colors and one of them was literally the color of paper so um, but then again here somebody literally told me that you have to wear foundation two shades lighter than your own skin tone and I was like that's not gonna happen so um, if I wanted to wear something my own skin tone it was literally the last one there so um, definitely make sure to bring your own foundation and base stuff but eyesh eyeshadows are also kind of expensive here but regardless makeup is definitely hard to find um, but besides that, so far we've been having a pretty good time here in Korea. Um, I have a whole bunch of other stuff planned to go to. I haven't really gotten to see much yet. So when I do, I will totally vlog it for you guys. And yeah, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video.